guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today, I received a new soldering station from Tillswall. After unboxing four separate little boxes inside here, we have the soldering iron with the included tip, power cord, soldering wire, five different size tips for whatever application you need to solder, the soldering station itself with the dial of the strength of power. This thing can heat up between 400 degrees Fahrenheit to almost 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's your uh, iron stand and included is a brass ball sponge. You stick the brass ball sponge in here and after you've used your soldering iron, you can put the iron in this stand so that it won't touch anything and you won't get burned and before you put it away for the day you stick it in like that to clean the tip so you just plug this in you can't plug it in wrong into here and you tighten it you plug the power cord in the back and plug it into your 110 AC power outlet. It also comes with instructions if you want to read it. We'll use the regular tip that it came with. I'm going to plug in the unit into my power and I'm going to set the dial to about halfway. It ranges between 396 to 896 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll just keep it in the middle. There's a power switch over here. I'm gonna turn it on that displays the Tillswall light LED here. So we'll give it a few minutes to warm up. When the light starts blinking, it means it's ready. We're gonna test this by just taking a couple of wires. Why do people solder? Is to join wires together or to repair things. As you can see, we have a green wire here that's been, the ends have been stripped. We'll just go ahead and take off the sheathing of this one, with some wire strippers. And now what we wanna do is properly join these two wires, the blue and the yellow. So what I like to do is we'll just twist these both together. You can get fancy and put some kind of a rubber sheathing over it, but we're just gonna do this right now to show that the soldering works. Now we'll open up the soldering wire. And you can use this just like a stick welder. So now this is blinking red. So we know this is ready to go. I could actually feel the heat coming from this. So we'll just put this there and melt as we go. Look at that. I'm laying it on thick. There you go. To clean it, just stick it in the uh, brass sponge to clean it. And it tips as good as new. Put it back in its stand and then shut it off when you're finished. Let it stand for a little while. And as you can see, that's a beautiful solder right here. These two wires are connected. You could just put some electrical tape over there or some kind of a rubber sheathing, like I said. And this is a proper way to connect two wires. And that's what a soldering machine does.
This station is very portable, convenient, high quality, and also, as you saw, it heated up very quickly and we got the solder done. Soldering has come a long way. When I first got my first soldering iron, it would take a lot for me to try to get it to heat up. Sometimes it takes forever to heat up. Also, sometimes you had to kind of like bend it a little bit for you to see that it was warming up and see the smoke coming up. So it took a while for me to do that and it was very unreliable. Also in the olden days, we used to have to use this paste for flux. Now it's not like that anymore. Also with these different size tips, you can solder any kind of application that you need. Soldering wire was thin and easy to melt almost instantaneously with the amount of temperature that I chose. Now I only chose about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You have some bigger application that you need the soldering wire melted even quicker or thicker wire, you would turn up that dial to about eight or 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you need to, to solder. Anyway, so this is the Tills Wall soldering station. It's very cool. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Yeah, we don't gotta turn it up. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, that's great. I got that on video.